Alright, this tutorial is an introduction to camera objects in Unity 3D. So to add a camera, we simply go to Game Object, Create Other, and select Camera. So now that we have camera, you can see finally in our, our game uh, window here, we have um, a view of our scene. And that is because a camera really is really giving the, the person playing your game a perspective, right? Before we, we had the camera, they really didn't have... Um, any point of view. So uh, we can change that point of view by simply moving that camera object. So if I select uh, move and I drag this object, we can drag this object just like we drag any other object. Let's grab that handle there. We can change the uh, player's perspective by moving this camera. So you can see that's pretty neat. So we zoom out and if you go in the inspector you can see <clears throat> one of the most common uh, properties would be the field of view. So we can change that field of view, and if you look at the at the game window, you can see a, a wide field of get, uh, view, or a large field of view, field of view, and a smaller field of view. And we can also just change that by uh, clicking on the scale button here, and just changing the scale is it, all it's really doing is changing that field of view property. So it's essentially the same thing. It is the same thing. So um, let's get that uh, side shot here with uh, the camera one. So I'll just quick name this camera one. And then um, I'm going to just drag this, move this a little bit over, and then widen that field of view. Remember the keys are uh, Q, W, E, R. So if I want to scale it, just click R, and then widen that scale to view. Perfect. So now I'm going to um, create another camera. So again, game object, create other camera. And we'll call this camera 2. There we go. Enter, and I'm going to zoom back in here again, and you can see our second camera. So second camera, we are going to move, so I'm going to click W, and I'm going to move this guy behind the tank. I'm going to change my perspective here in the scene, move it over some more, so we're behind the tank. Zoom out using my scroll wheel, get that behind the tank, and then we're going to rotate it. So you can also rotate these guys. So we're going to rotate it around there we go so now you see we're behind the tank and if we just get a different view of this guy let's bring it back a little bit so now you can see and um, even if you're not looking in the game window you can actually view this through your gate uh, camera preview so through camera one we got a side shot and camera two is the uh, kind of the third person uh, view of our tank so again, if we wanted to, we could raise this guy up, click rotation again, and rotate that down. So it's kind of looking down behind your tank. So I think that'd be, if I'm playing a tank game, that's most likely going to be the view uh, I'd have. I'll just clean this up a little bit. Um, I'll get this just right. It's looking pretty good for me. Perfect. And again, you can just go to your field of view, zoom in and out, whatever you think is best. So what we really want, right, is we want this camera to follow the object as we're moving around. But that requires scripting. We haven't talked about scripting yet, and uh, it's inevitable. So I think that's the, the next tutorial is going to be the introduction of scripting. So we can move our game object around um, on this plane and also have that camera follow the game object. So the camera stays with the object the entire time. So just in case uh, you don't have the patience to watch that next tutorial, what we can do is create, uh, I'm sorry, import a new package called Character Controller. And this is coming in with the uh, fourth version of Unity. If you don't have this, don't worry, just skip over to the next tutorial. But I'm gonna import this in real quick. So I'm going to drop down character controllers that we just imported and find the first person controller. Drag this in here into my hierarchy. And then I'm going to uh, delete these two cameras just so we don't have any problems. So I'm select these, right click delete, right click delete. All right, so we only have one camera now in our scene, this main camera here. And then I'm going to make sure um, this object 
I'm going to find this object we just added. She's way out there. So what about just click on this, go into position, make sure we select one, one, one. And then we'll zoom back into our game, see if we can find that object. There it is. You can move it over a little bit. I'm going to click play. And I know it's going to fall through the plane, but I just want you to notice this because this happened uh, to me the first time I was playing with Unity. You click play, and you're just going to fall down, right? So what you have to make sure you do is um, lift this up so it's over the plane. So now when I click play, I'm just going to land on that plane. I'm not going to fall continuously fall, fall. So you can see I'm I'm actually playing in the game window around um, this first person object with the camera. So when I move my mouse, the camera also moves. The camera just follows. Gives you the first opportunity to kind of interact with your game, right? That's pretty cool. But uh, again, we're going to write these scripts from scratch uh, using JavaScript in our next tutorial. Hi, thanks a lot for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of my future videos. Until next time, cheers.